guys, I'm back with another mukbang and today I made a beef chimichanga. Well, it's not beef, it's um, ground turkey chimichanga uh, with enchilada sauce, enchilada cheese sauce on top. And I added um, guacamole salsa. I have sour cream right here, some shred underneath guacamole and um, just some regular chips. Well, I, can't, I don't know why I can't think of the name is, but I'm pray real quick and let's just dig in because I'm really hungry. For my drink, I have orange wine down. Mmm. Guacamole is good. Ooh, I felt like Su Young. I felt like Su Young uh, doing that. This is an Asian mukbanger. Or well, she's pouring her drink in. It always seems like it's gonna like fill to the top or like overflow. But um, it never does. So, anyways, this guacamole is good. So this is my first time making chimichanga. I'm really nervous. I'm really excited that I'm gonna dig in because I am hungry. And surprisingly, it didn't take um ooh, it didn't take like a lot of ingredients or really just even long to cook, so cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's good. That's... That's really good. Mmm, my goodness. And I was gonna make um, enchiladas. Um, instead, but they ended up getting the wrong um, enchilada sauce. So, wow. Glad I had a backup. Mm. So good. Mmm. Wow. Very yummy. Mmm. I didn't make the guac. Got that from the store. Mmm. Yummy. So good. Wow, really, really good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Big bite. Mm. So what are they doing up there? If this is what it tastes like from just me getting ingredients off YouTube, or getting the recipe off YouTube, I can only imagine 
but authentic Mexican chimichanga seems like. Oh, this is good. Wow. My husband ate two of these. <clears throat> so, he's always like my guinea pig when I'm cooking something new. So I'm always like, is it good? What does it taste like? And he's always like, Keeping it like 100 with me, like he tells me the honest truth. Mm. 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 Wow. Mm. Oh god. Um I told you guys about my um journey of getting back into working <laughs> um because i haven't been working for <sighs> 20 almost two years yeah almost two years i've um i haven't been working um i've just been doing the whole stay at home mom thing I'm gonna let you guys know I was ready to get back out there in the field. Um, my field is the financial industry under the customer service umbrella. Um, so I'm used to working for like banks and credit unions, things of that nature. Mm. So recently I've had an interview with American Express. It was a phone interview that was last week on Friday. Mm, no, it was two Fridays ago I had that. And then um, I got a call back. <clears throat> well, I got a um, email. And um, she was letting me know that they want to move me forward with a second interview. Um, and it was going to be um, a group interview um, and a um, video call, a video call group interview. So it was going to be just more than me in the interview. Um, and I was a little... <laughs> I got a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie. However, that wasn't my first group interview. Um, my first ever group interview, I believe, was back in 2014. And it was when I was applying to work for PNC. Um,
But yeah. That was my first group interview experience. And when I tell you, that was um, nerve wracking. I didn't know it was going to be a um, group interview. Um, this is the situation back in 2014. Didn't know it was going to be a group interview. It was a, like, I want to say it was like 30 of us. They um, escorted us into a big, um, like a lecture hall room almost. Um, or like a town hall room. Um, and they had to stand up one by one just to introduce ourselves, which is nerve wracking. And I remember I was like number three or four or five. I was like in the front row. <sighs> Why did I decide to sit in the front row? I was like thinking in my head, sit up front, let them notice you, let them see you. And then come to find out, they're like, yeah, we want to get to know everybody before we separate you guys into smaller groups. And I so happen to be in the front where they started. <laughs> um, let me get this in some sour cream. So um, that was nerve wracking. And then I got separated into a group of, let me see. Mm -hmm. It was like five of us. And it's already nerve wracking going into an interview and someone being there and looking at you, you know, the um, person working for the company and interviewing you and then watching you like, they ask you a question and they're just like looking at you and they're writing down. That's already nerve wracking in itself. And then on top of it, they put you in a group setting and interview you. And then they asked me the same, they asked me the same question going around the table, like everyone the same question. And it's like, hopefully no one has like a similar or close to answer as you, because you want to stand out and you don't want it to seem like, you know, you're, you're taking the idea or piggyback, piggybacking off the uh, last person that spoke or one of the previous people that spoke. So yeah, that was my first um, time um, being in a group interview um, or experiencing group interview. So when I was told I was gonna do a group interview for the position I just recently applied for, I was like oh, having flashbacks and I was like oh my goodness um but that was today it wasn't bad um three people that were supposed to be in the group interview didn't even come in on the um the Webex meeting um so it was just me and one other um uh, female and then um the woman that interviewed us, her name was Cheryl. She was just so sweet. Um, it didn't even feel like I was being interviewed. It was just, everything just went very smooth. Um, I was nervous in the beginning because I'm always nervous before an interview, but as soon as like camera's on or the phone's on, it's like, I'm in go mode. <laughs> so it was nerve wracking, but that happened today. And so, I'm not going to say, like, did I say it already? Who I, who I was interviewed with, like, the company? American Express. American Express. I'm going to wait. So, wish me luck. Pray for me. Whatever it is that you believe in or do. Um, it's a great company. 
amazing. Especially when um, I was getting just even more information on it because I always do my research for any company I work for. So I was already intrigued and very well sold on this company prior to applying. And then in the interview, which was an hour, almost, almost an hour and a half interview. And that's because they had to explain to us like what we're doing in our role. Um, you know, giving us the ins and outs, letting us know how long training is going to be, which is 90 days. First company I've ever worked for where the, um, training period is that long. Um, we got just going over, you know, all the ins and outs and then just talking about the company as a whole and it sold me even more like she was explaining how um they're a very inclusive company um they welcome diversity you know all the things that you want to hear but i um which the diversity thing um sold me um because i've worked for companies who say they're really big on diversity and then you're like, <laughs> where's that diversity? Because I'm feeling very uncomfortable here, you know, I'm like a lone wolf type thing. Um, but then one of the things that got, she's like, another uh, one of the things she sold me on, or one of the, yeah, one of the things she sold me on was that, um, well, it was a couple things, but I think the one that stood out the most was she was talking about how, um, they're very much into like women's rights and women, you know, empowerment and all this stuff to the point where they give women six months um, maternity leave. Excuse me, I was about to cough, I was choking. They give women six months maternity leave as well as their spouse. I was like, six months now i've worked for companies where they're like we'll give you like a month and a half um so like six weeks um and then i've 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 heard of companies who give like two months six months half of year half of a year to be at home with your child and I stress that because a lot of women literally quit their jobs because they don't want to come back. They don't want to go back to work after just having a, a, a child because there's the breastfeeding and there's like the, you know, the skin to skin. And like, there's so much you want to, you know, be there for in that early, those early stages of the child's life that a lot of companies just don't really care about. And when they said six months, I said, Please sign me up because <laughs> I let her know I have a, um, a daughter, a four year old, and she was like, Well, I don't know if you want to have any more, but hey, if you do, six months maternity leave. And I was like, Look, you got me thinking now. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm full. This was really, really good. Um, but yeah guys cross your fingers cross your toes cross your eyes i don't know cross your arms and legs pray for me send me good positive energy send it up to the universe pray whatever it is that you do um it would be much appreciated but uh, i'm very confident um and I'm, I'm really big on speaking things into existence um so i'm speaking this you know this company this position into my life um and hopefully by the next video or the video after that i will have good news for you guys but um thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it um please continue to like 
subscribe, and hit that notification bell down below so you know when I post new videos. And until next time, as always, peace.